We promise to keep you updated on the officers and their conditions. So two have now been released and are now home with their families. A third could be released today or tomorrow. Chief Art Acevedo says the other two officers have the most serious injuries. They are stable but face a long road to recovery, according to the chief. Now we continue our team coverage from Memorial Hermann Hospital. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is there live with more on the case and those officers. Brittany? Yep, Bill and Dominique, as you mentioned, this third officer could possibly be going home today or even tomorrow. Now, this is the officer that underwent knee surgery. Three days after a shootout at a suspected drug house, crime scene unit investigators were back at the scene collecting evidence as three undercover Houston police officers remain in the hospital tonight. Today, during the Houston City Council's weekly meeting, Mayor Sylvester Turner talked about the incident that's been weighing heavily on the community. I was reminded that we're all in on the front line together, so to speak, and so it's, it's uh, the community and law enforcement working together uh, for the uh, good of uh, people who live in, in our city. Members of HPD's narcotics team were serving a warrant at this home in southeast Houston on Monday when HPD says once officers were inside the house, Dennis Tuttle shot at police and the department says his wife, Regina Nicholas, tried to grab an officer's gun. Five officers were injured and both Tuttle and Nicholas died at the scene. Today, the medical examiner's office released the cause of death for Nicholas, showing that she died from gunshot wounds of the torso and right lower extremity. She's a Christian. She's a good person. I I mean, was, was, God, she was. Her friend for more than six years, Monique Caballero, told me over the phone that she has a hard time believing the allegations against the couple and wants more answers as city leaders ask for prayers. And until everything is investigated, we're still really not going to know the extent to everything. I appreciate the fact that the city uh, has come together, joined by the support from so many, you know, around the country. I have been checking in with the medical examiner's office throughout the day, and at this point, the autopsy report for Dennis Tuttle has not yet been released. Live here at Memorial Hermann Hospital tonight, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brittany.